you know where this is going. Hello. So I'm doing a little mushroom recon on this side of the path before um, diving into my usual raspberry field to see if there are any left still. This is, uh, this is the kind of forest floor, quote unquote, that is a good soil for the uh, chanterelles. And in the past I have found some from here. As for the moment, I'm not so sure. Well, except that one. Don't know, there are others. I mean, other m mushrooms. That looks like I can move on for now. For now, you hear that mushrooms? Now, to add some excitement to my um, bleak and, uh, and, and merciless existence, I'm going to try and cross straight here, because the spot that I'm looking for is basically right up ahead. Let's see how that goes. Of course, I can't help but notice that somebody has already um, moved in from here. Whether a human or an animal, I can't tell. Okay, my battery is not changing. So, I'm going to try to make my way through this area, but I'm bound to run into some berries right this instant, so I might take a break. This is as close as a let's play as it gets during August. So enjoy. Hmm, for a change. I'm going to make a little base camp in the middle of this uh, clearing. I'm, I'm going to go over there afterwards anyway, but there are just too many berries to pass by. I wonder why all the raspberry plants are so much uh, smaller in this patch. Like, is it about the difference in soil or the difference in their positioning or, or what? Or maybe they have just been damaged by cold or something. I don't know. One down. So yeah, I'm using these takeaway boxes so that uh, I could freeze the berries easily later on. So this this is their final form, and they're going to be stuck in the freezer with these. Hello. It looks like I'm not the only one who has chosen this particular spot as a um, uh, base camp. <laughs> as scenic as this spot happens to be, I am going to move to my usual ground now because the berries are just too small and, 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 and it takes a long time to fill just one box. So 
um, moving into the frolicking ground. Also, moving means that I can pause that uh, curious thicket ahead. I really want to see what's in there. I think. That actually took some effort. <laughs> it's like the field is bigger on the inside than on the outside. Okay, let me set up my usual quote unquote base camp here as well. Pick some berries. These blackberries are almost. Let me try. They do have a taste, but they still need to grow. Too bad. This on the other hand, oh my. I'm wishing and the rest of the bush <coughs> will be good for picking in a week or so. Or even less. Here's a snippet of, oh my, how many foxbirds. Anyway, here's a snippet of uh, some Chaos Nova connection for you. In universe, there is this um, a genetically engineered uh, uh, meat animal called Bora and uh, I pushed for some extra backstory so that uh, I could have a proper Latin name and everything so we came up with Bos Roseus Aromaticus and uh, my idea behind it was that Okay, it's, it's based on bovines, mostly, and it's been engineered so that it's, uh, well, it's, it's big and uh, has a lot of meat, and the meat is inherently uh, tasty. And uh, I haven't had the chance to add this idea yet, but I would think that the uh, pink component is, uh, is not as much intentional as it is a just sort of not side effect but a carryover like the pink the pink ones were the were the uh, stock uh, worth keeping and and uh, and uh, further developing anyway when I imagined the properties of their meat and uh, sort of desired stuff then I was uh, specifically thinking of the Foxbury taste. And this concludes this particular world building snippet. Hello big berries, we meet again. Though it seems like somebody else has indeed come picking here. However, there's still plenty left for me. Yeah. I knew that somebody had been here picking the minute I saw these tracks. I mean, even with my heavy boots, I, I'm not leaving that heavy tracks behind. Well, this is a vehicle. Lazy buggers. <laughs> of course, yeah, a road comes in from here, so... This gives me the idea that I should look for the remaining blueberries a little bit off this road. Speaking of berries as motivational metaphor again filling up a big bucket is a long and tedious
process and it's a pain in the ass. In the meantime, filling up these small boxes and uh, closing them up once they're full is extremely rewarding. And I can just keep going on and on quite a while like this. Ooh, that looks like a rain cloud coming. I better pack up soon. I'm almost done eating bluebirds and picking a little extra. Almost. Now, in the grand tradition of Let's Plays, let's check out the loot as well. So I've got three boxes like this, full of blueberries. Then some fox burrs packed up for freezing. And one of these with raspberries, also some of these with raspberries. And some extra with fox burrs. Since I've already done quite a bit of adventuring on this clearing earlier, I'm gonna opt for the road right now because easy walking and all that. <laughs> 